Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Zoo Talk Show. Today we're going to talk about the red flags that show early on when you're dating someone new. Now these are things that a lot of people are ignoring. And so what's happening is they are having a really bad dating life because they keep allowing people in with things that don't work for them. This is a big one. They don't ever want to get married. They've been burned in the past. They don't think that there's any value in being married. And they don't want to have children because they're too busy. They don't want a relationship and they don't want children. Okay, I cannot tell you how many times I've talked to people who've let this go in their relationships, ended up with this person for a fairly long time, and the one thing they really wanted was children and it never happened for them and they never ended up having children. So this is one of the biggest red flags. When somebody throws this at you and it's important to you, you've got to move on. Don't try and change them. Don't try and say, oh, they'll change their mind down the road. I'll just be quiet about it. You'll be quiet for a long time, let me tell you, because it won't happen. So just remove yourself from those two things. Those are super important ones. If you want to get married, you want to have kids. Sometimes when people say they're going to move or they're not really comfortable in the place that they're living right now, that's kind of a warning sign to you that they could move. And if you're not the type that wants to move, you're really happy where you are with your family and friends and everything and your own job, then again, that's something you really want to sort of put on the priority list when you are looking for somebody. If you're okay and open to it, then that's cool. But usually when someone says, well, I might move or I'm not happy with this, they're not settled within who they are as a person. So if that happens, then you're going to always have to be dealing with the changes that they want to happen in their life. So in other words, you're not going to be the top priority. It's going to be all about what's not working for them. They talk constantly about their ex, like negative things about their ex. They just can't get past it. Well, those are not, uh, things that also bring into the Dy dynamics of your relationship that's going to come because if they've got angry issues about their past relationship they're not over it <laughs> so you're going to be the one that has to deal with that you're going to have to be okay with the fact that that's what they talk about that's how they feel and that's not a good place to put yourself you want to start fresh with somebody not have all their drama entered into your life they have opposite interest to you about pretty much everything now, you may say, well, that's okay. Opposites attract. Yeah, they sure do. Because, whoa, look at that. That person's different from me. I'm attracted to that. That's cool. Well, you can have that in your relationship, a little bit of opposite things that you do. do. But as long as you're doing some of it together and you don't want to have a relationship with somebody where everything's completely different to who you are. Because one of you is going to have to change. So these are a few things to think about. I mean, there's a lot of things to think about, but they're really important things. Those are big issues when you're deciding on whether you want to continue on in a relationship with somebody. Because you can spend two years saying that those big flags don't matter to you, but at the end of the day, they could be the demise of who you are as a couple. Because these are important issues that should not be pushed under the rug. Okay? Anyway, if you have anything you want to add to that, please leave a comment below the video and we can discuss it because tell me of something that, that you went in as a red flag and realized afterward that was pretty crucial to, to what happened in your relationship. So uh, please subscribe too. Thanks everyone. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.